Welcome back to This Week in Video Games, and Zer is back for the weekend in Destiny 2. And he comes bearing gifts or exotics and legendaries in exchange for legendary shards. Pick up exotics you don't have, including weapons and armor. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content, and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, let's check out and see where Zer is on the 29th of October, 2021. As you can see, Zer is in the tower, so what you want to do is land here at the courtyard, go down the stairs into the hangar, and then you'll find Zer. Let's check out and see what Zer's got for us this week. For the exotic weapon, he's got Vigilance Wing, so I imagine that's going to be rampant in trials this weekend. For the Hunters, we've got the Shards of Galanor. That is a 62 roll. For the Titans, we've got the Antaeus Wards. Look at the strength on that. Plus 20. And good resilience too. Not as good as they used to be, the Antaeus Wards. They still might be worth picking up for those stats. And for the Warlocks, we've got the Karnstein Armlets. That is a 60 roll and not bad discipline at plus 17. We can also check out the exotic engram, pick it up and get a world drop exotic weapon or piece of armor you haven't got yet. So if you're missing something from this list, pick it up and see what you get. Let's check out the loot in a little bit more detail, starting off with Vigilance Wing. This one is a kinetic pulse rifle that comes with the perk Harsh Truths. This weapon fires a five round burst and when a nearby ally is killed, you gain health regeneration and increased movement speed, and that's why it's really, really good in PvP. Next up for the Hunters, we've got the Shards of Galanor. This one comes with sharp edges, so hits and kills with Blade Barrage will return super energy after the super ends. We've got the Antaeus Wards for the Titans. This one comes with Reflective Vent, so improves slide and sliding after sprinting for a short time reflects incoming projectiles. Then for the Warlocks, we've got the Karnstein Armlets. This one comes with Vampire's Caress, so melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. Well, that is it for the exotics, but next up, let's check out the legendary weapons for the week. So we've got True Prophecy here, and that one comes with Opening Shot and Demolitionist. Not a bad PvE roll, although not the best. We've got the Seventh Seraph Officer Revolver, and comes with fourth times the charm and high impact reserves. Again, not too bad, but not great. Then we've got the Seventh Seraph VY7, that is a submachine gun. This one comes with fourth times the charm and dragonfly. That is a very, very good roll. I would pick this one up immediately. That is really, really good. Then we've got the Wishbringer. This is a solar shotgun. Comes with threat detector and moving target. Again, not great. We've got the Long Shadow, it's a Kinetic Sniper, Field Prep and Moving Target, not great. Steel Sybil, Z14, that one comes with Tireless Blade and On Guard. Again, not that great, but then we've got the Third Axiom. This one comes with Surplus and Unrelenting, and this one is one of the playlist weapons. So if you haven't managed to get yourself a Third Axiom yet, then I'd recommend picking it up. Well, for the armor this week, we've got the Kairos Function Set. Looking very, very nice there. Look at that. Though I do think Zer sold this last week. But maybe Zer is taking revenge on us for holding him hostage this week. Well, that is it from where is Zer on the 29th of October 2021. He will be hanging around in the tower in Destiny 2 until reset on Tuesday. So if you want to pick up any of the exotics or the legendaries, go ahead, find him and trade in those legendary shards. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great weekend.